What's up guys, Brad here, and today we're going to be opening up the Wild Bundle. So, it's a Mega Bundle, it has 8 from a whole bunch of sets. 8 packs, so why not? Um, just see how our luck is, and uh, have a little fun opening some packs. So, I think this is Rastakhan's Rumble, I believe? I believe that's what it is. Could be wrong. Okay, Predatory Instincts, nothing really too special. Rain of Toads is a pretty good card, and Moshog Enforcer, obviously, in the uh, Defined Spirit Inner Fire Priest was pretty amazing. Dozing Marksman, didn't really ever see. Um, once in a blue moon, I think I messed around with it, but nothing special. And Time Out, uh, kind of in Big Paladin, this is where I mainly saw it. Once in a blue moon, you might see it. All right. Take a scout bird, definitely not a bad pirate. Scarab egg, obviously pretty solid. Regenerate, didn't really do too much. Um, water boy, same thing. Now we have a better version of it. Um, and serrated tooth, nothing really too special. Rekka's dire troll, I don't think I've ever really seen this card played. Um, Arcano Sir, not really the greatest either. Pounce was definitely not bad in um, the Gadgetzan, like Malagos combo style. Um, obviously, works with Kalthos too. Helpless Hatchling didn't really do much, and Murloc Tasty Fin. Murloc Ducks. All right, Serenade so Ticket uh, Taskmaster, definitely not a terrible card. Pretty, pretty solid actually. Box Slasher, mediocre. Uh, I don't, I can't think of anything right now off the top of my head if this is decent. Sightless Ranger, mainly just an arena card. Totemic Smash, yeah. Masha, we already talked about. This is kind of a fun thing to go through some of these cards because they're older. All right, we got an epic finally. All right, so. Rabble Bouncer, pretty solid actually. Good anti aggro card and works well in like any of the evolved stuff. Beta Arrow, also an literally solid card. Played in a lot of the Hunter stuff. Warbringer, I don't think I've ever seen that card played. Spirit of the Dead, once a blue moon was played, didn't really see it too, too much. And Garbashri Offering. <laughs> uh, I think I've actually seen this played once, but not much. That's probably one I only have a single one of. <clears throat> All right, take a scalper again. Ray toads again. Rain, uh, double rain of toads and sharkfin fan. Sharkfin fan actually not bad. And spear of the bat. I don't think I've ever seen really played. All right. So in some of these epics, I probably don't have doubles of, which is why we're seeing some of the crappier ones. Uh, but Tub of Smasher talks about Dragon Roar, not too bad, uh, put some dragons in your hand. Definitely pretty solid with that value warrior. Ember Scale Drake, another pretty solid um, warrior dragon there. <laughs> Serpent Ward, I actually really like this in Totem Shaman, I think it was kind of fun. But it's a horrible card. And then Snapjaw Shell Fighter, uh, pretty bad card. Yeah. Final one. Predatory Instincts, uh, Sand Rudge. Don't really think I've ever seen this really played that much. Overlord Whip, once at a blue moon, would see. Ordinary Tortoise was in the damage, like self damage healing. I think it was Priest or Paladin, one of the two. Now, this is the Boomsday Project. Double Mechano Egg. This is. So Boomsday had a lot of cool mech stuff. I really liked the upgrade frame bot um, and the Mechano Egg stuff. Those were really powerful, especially with the quest. Makaru also pretty solid. Blight Nozzle Crawler, not horrible. Uh, Electro Right, if you're holding a spell, it costs five or more gain, plus one, plus one. I, I never saw this played, to be honest, so 
can't really say much about it. Celestial Emissary definitely was played a pretty decent amount. And Secret Plan is amazing. So, yeah. Lab Recruiter. Not too bad. Fun, fun with like the pogo stuff. Kaboomba is okay, but you know, mainly a battlegrounds card, to be honest. Nakarian Blade was pretty pretty awesome. Played in a lot of the Death Rattle Rogue stuff. Elementary reaction. I think it's actually not too bad in Elemental Shaman. Probably gonna try to go a little faster. Biology project was just in the ramping slash uh you know Malagos Gadgetzan stuff. Storm Chaser was played a decent amount actually. Those scale chemist I didn't see much of. I know some people try to come up with some things of it, but never really saw it played in. Spirit Mom was okay. It's good removal. Uh, Mega Defender, not terrible. Not the greatest, but not terrible. Fire Tech was a really powerful card, to be honest. <laughs> Uh, very aggressive hunters that were played a bit. War gear, definitely not bad too. The good thing about Boomsday was there was a very, very powerful budget builds with it, with the uh, magnetic mech stuff. Explodinator worked well in that fire tech aggro thing, and Shooting Star was not bad. <laughs> yeah, we got a lot of macaroos. Brainstormer could be really powerful if you have a very heavy spell deck, but didn't really ever see this played. Dynomatic was played in almost every single warrior. Amazing. Crazy Chemist rarely saw it. And Demonic Project was a combo breaker. Cosmic Anomaly was pretty fun. Um, Gloop Sprayer was a Mali combo style deck. Spark Engine never played. And Doubling Imp was pretty solid and had potential with some of the hand buff stuff that Warlock ended up getting, but the hand buff stuff didn't work out too well. Oh, nice. Golden Necrium Vial, which actually was pretty solid. Um, Necrium Vial was that Death Rattle style robe. Skaterbot actually wasn't bad either. Um, Mega Assembly was in that value warrior. Now we're on to Witchwood. Oh, Linda Crowskin, actually not a bad card, too. Uh, Witchwood Piper was awesome for some combo stuff. Link Fox was played in almost every single rogue. Cheap Shot, decent removal, and Totem Cruncher was terrible. That was a good pack. Lost Spirit didn't really ever see that played. Um... Spell Shifter didn't really ever see that played. Witchwood Grizzly is amazing. Um, especially in the Druid, where you could play the three mana spell that brings back a beast that died full health. You know, full stats or whatever. It, this is this is what you want. <laughs> and Blackwall Pixie. I think I saw it played once. Wow. Getting a lot of the epic stuff here. Hidden Wisdom, another Totem Cruncher, probably because I don't have any. Um, Tanglefer Mystic. Tanglefer Mystic's okay. Um, I kind of liked it for, there was like a, a mill, like, fill your opponent's hand with just a bunch of random stuff, try to make them mill their cards. Um, I did that something. It was terrible, though. Pickpocket. Okay, Pumpkin Peasant. I actually really like this card, but it's not played at all. But I like the artwork and stuff. Ghostlight Angler, pretty solid actually, Murloc, so get a lot of value with it. You can get five uh, five Murlocs at 10 mana with just this card. Worm Guard, a lot of stats for uh, seven mana also. Cinder Storm was actually pretty decent. Rebuke was uh, a spell version of Lotha. Didn't really get played as much as you would think. Walnut Sprite uh, was pretty weak compared to the other Echo cards. Witchwood Imp is a decent, actually, uh, demon, so 
didn't get played as much as it probably could have, but it was played a decent amount. Sound of the Bells, I actually like Sound of the Bells. Especially with the quest uh, palette. Nightmare Amalgam is just pretty solid. Works with a lot of things. First style. Mad Hatter is a fun card that didn't really get played much. Um, Raven Caller was pretty cool in like hand room. And Bell Ringer Sentry for the you know secret secret stuff. Yep, another one. Hand Druid again. Hand Druid was pretty fun, to be honest. Squashling was okay. Swamp. Dragon Egg, I almost never saw played. Wing Blast, decent. Ghostly Charger, um, didn't really get played much, but mediocre best. This is Kobolds and Catacombs, I believe. Sewer Crawler, not very good. Um, a Sir Chester Spellstone is amazing. Fungal Mancer was absolutely amazing. Bears, bear skin, definitely not bad. Cobalt Librarian, amazing. This is actually a very good pack for uh, people that haven't played anything or whatever. Um, right here, these are two of the very highly played cards, and even lesser Jasper spells down too. Lesser Mithril Spellstone wasn't played as much, but it's not terrible. Primal Talisman, uh, not really the greatest, but I guess Totem Shaman in Wild is definitely not terrible. And Hoarding Dragon, decent stats, but do you really want to give them coins, especially against Rogue, not good. Oaken Summons was amazing. Embarrassing. Why the Acolyte was pretty solid. Um, works well, like Cobalt, uh, Cobalt Acolyte. I think that's... Cobalt, is that the new one? Something. I don't know. Cabal. Whatever that one is. The one that steals for two. Uh, the six mana one back in the day. Now it is the four mana one. Um, Shifting Scroll, kind of mediocre. Lesser Sapphire Spellstone, actually pretty decent with the Overload Snow Fury Giant. Unidentified shield actually has pretty versatile stuff. And Benevolent Djinn is actually not bad either. Now, I'm not saying that they're amazing cards, but they're playable. Explosive Runes was uh, insane in Secret Mage, but I hated it because of it. Drives her armor, not bad anti-aggro, gain some life, two mana. Plague Strike was played in almost every single uh, Hunter deck. Corrosive Sludge. Didn't really get played too much. And Toothy Chest, I don't think I ever saw that card played. Toothy Chest again. Uh, Grizzle Guardian, not terrible, but I wouldn't say it's the strongest. Potion of Heroism, pretty, pretty solid card, actually. I, I think this was played a lot, to be honest. And Reckless Flurry was a good board clear. Oh, nice. A uh, Golden Grizzly Guardian. And Golden Silver Vanguard. Silver Vanguard, pretty cool in some cases. There is some ways that you could be played, but I don't think it was um, fully realized in the sets that it had. I know it was played once in a blue moon, but could have been played better. Candle Shot was amazing. Wax Elemental didn't get played much, though. Maybe Wax Elemental got played a little bit, but I, I don't believe it got played at all. Guild Recruiter, I actually kind of like this card um, for certain classes. I feel like in Shaman, it's decent to pull out some really big guys. Because, you know, there's a 4 mana 7-7, seven, seven, so you can kind of make it work. Um, Oaken Summons, obviously, we talked about. Guild of Gargoyle, it's pretty solid, actually. Greedy Sprite was amazing. It has Wild Growth in it. A body in Sun Betrayal was not bad. Also, Diamond Spellstone was played a ton. Volgar Funculus played uh, a little bit here and there. Tavern Shiny, Shiny Finder was played all the damn time. 
There's a king's main road. Oh, yeah. What the hell is that? Knights of the Frozen Throne. This was my most hyped one, and I quit the fastest. Ice Fishing. Pretty good card draw, actually. Um, Tuscar Fisherman. I actually like this card. I played too much. Strong Shell Scavenger. Don't feel like it's strong enough. And Shadow Ascendant is actually a really good card. <clears throat> and like Aggro Priest. Blood Razor is amazing. Grave Shambler actually was pretty good in Rogue. Like an aggressive Rogue. Uh, Frozen Clone was mediocre. And Druid of the Swarm was versatile. Played in the tokeny uh, Druid. Dust Speaker is actually pretty good. Spreading Plague was pretty much the card that made me quit because <laughs> of Druid Stone. Um, not really because of this card, but it was just played so much I was like, I can't do it. I can't see any more Druids. I, I couldn't do it anymore. Spirit Lash is a pretty good anti aggro. Grim Necromancer is actually a really solid card, but didn't get played too much because it's not like an arena card. And Jakari Defender, great stats, but the Overload is high. Works well in the Overload Shaman. Wicked Skeleton, probably the worst card in the set. Um, Shadow Blade, one of the best uh, three cost weapons. Bone Baron, actually, I kind of liked. Uh, did It's for like the budget rogues, I guess you could say, for some of the combo stuff. But yeah. Icebreaker, terrible, terrible card. And. Eldnir Frost Rider, uh, good stats, but I don't really want to freeze your. I forgot, this is when Free Shaman is trying to be a thing. Uh, Voodoo Hexer is a pretty solid card, though. Fallen Sun Cleric, definitely not terrible. Righteous Protector, one of the best one drops in the game. Well, at the time. Ice Walker was okay, Burlock was amazing. Sunbird Valkyrie, actually not bad, but mainly an arena card. And Nash was not played much at all, if at all. There's Sunbird Valkyrie. Uh, Runeforge Haunter. Didn't really get played much. Leeching Poison, back in the day, was amazing. When it didn't say this turn, you just gave your weapon lifesteal. That was amazing. But um, now it got toned down. Still not bad. This is on Goro? I think on Goro. It's on Goro. Volcano Sword was given free, and not a bad card. Uh, Fireplume Phoenix is definitely not a terrible elemental. Another good set for free to play people, because a lot of the elemental stuff was common and rare. So a lot of people were able to build stuff based around that. Other long, that was uh, horrible. And Sabertooth Stalker. I think somebody created something with this because of the, how high the damage was, but it's definitely not that good. Giant Wasp was uh, pretty awesome. Firefly was and is probably still one of the best one drops ever created next to Undertaker. Um, Thunder Lizard was not played almost at all. Binding Heal uh, played a little bit. Definitely played a little bit here and there. It wasn't another crazy. And Volcano is one of the best board players, too. Uh, Molten Blade, just kind of whatever. Um, Arcanologist, another one of those played in almost every single mage deck. The Tolan Forager was also played quite a bit, um, especially with the Quest Druid. Tire Lord was also played with uh, Oak Heart. Whatever his name is. Something Oakheart. Uh, he pulled out this guy, so it made it pretty well. And Biteweed. I just don't have that card, that's why. I think I disenchanted it. That's why we got one. Vine Cleaver was actually amazing because uh, Token, like Dude Paladin, was amazing. Devil's Heart Egg, also amazing. Stonehill Defender, one of the best three drops almost ever this card was insane tower creeper one of the best three drops this right here every single card is like super high end this is by far probably the worst one 
But these three right here are probably the, the most seen played cards in Angoral, especially in neutral set. That was right, it's probably close to. Uh, Revisoran, actually, I really like this card a lot. Um, I think it was a pretty solid card, and I did some work with it in one of my 100 decks. Razor Petal Lasher, I really liked also. And then, Ornary Direhorn didn't get played almost at all. <clears throat> um, Stormwatcher. Don't remember seeing this get played at all either. Servant of Calamos was another one. Another great card to go with like the all the you know common and rare elementals. Raptor Hatchling. <clears throat> um, I didn't really care for this card that much. It got played in like Quest Hunter. Hydrologist is one of the top played like two drops for Paladin at the time, and Primal Fin Lookout wasn't played a ton, but just in the typical Murloc stuff. <clears throat> the Murloc stuff did well, so. Giant Macedon, don't think that got played almost at all. Air Elemental didn't get played much at all, if if at all. And Hot Spring Guardian got played once in a blue moon just for the heal uh, to go against Anti-Aggro. <clears throat> Heli Cat, one of the top uh, one drops. Rook Fu Master. I barely remember this card. <laughs> Holy crap. Um, Bomb Squad. Pretty good battle cry, but Death Rattles kind of sucks, but this is not too, too bad. Um, Street Trickster is terrible. Never played early. Red Mana Worm rarely got played. I saw it once in a blue moon. Bomb Squad was a really good arena card. I know a guy, um, didn't really get played too much. Counterfoot Coin did get played a decent amount. Jades, oh boy, Jades. Uh, Jades were just OP. Freezing Potion rarely got played, and Cryromancer didn't get played, I believe, at all. Smuggler was running, Grime Street Enforcer, and they hand buff Paladin stuff. Actually, pretty solid with the Doppelgangster, because Doppelgangster is amazing in Evolve and Hand Buff. Funny Bartender was just made an Arena card, and Brass Crystal Potion did pretty well with, uh, you know, being a, a just a removal card, so, yeah. You can definitely get some bang for your buff with this, if you want to get into Wild, that's for sure. Hired Gun. Uh... It's just a 3-mana 4-3. <laughs> Lotus Agents. Uh, it's kind of just like a fun card, really. Realistically, didn't, not really the greatest thing. The Ball Chemist, though, got played quite a bit. Oh, wait, maybe it's not the Ball Chemist. I could be wrong. This There's not many options. It got played. It was in the, any of the Highlander stuff. Any of the Reno decks basically got played. Crystal Weaver, don't remember being played. We're getting back in the memory now. Oh, we got Raza the Chained, which was uh, the card to have back in the day. Raza the Chained. Raza Priest was pretty much one of, if not the top deck, probably back then. Big Time Racketeer, kind of cool with like Bran. 12-12 uh, stats just from the Battle Cry. So 13-13, obviously, with the 1-1. One, one. But yeah, it's kind of a funny card. Abyssal Enforcer was one of the amazing cards in Arena. Probably one of the best cards in Arena. And then, actually, it's played a decent amount in, in Constructed, too. Logil Sniper. Not a terrible one. And Grimey Gadget Deer. Not terrible for hand buffs. Oh. Got a Golden Defias Cleaner. Nice. Uh, didn't really get played much at all. Rarely saw this card, even though it's a 5-7, which you can't see the 7 here. But 5-7 stats or 6 isn't bad at all, but never was played. Mana Geode was played uh, somewhat, I guess. Um, it's a decent card. Qualcurrier, this is the one I was thinking about that is played in a lot of, of the decks. 
Nothing a lot of the Highlander stuff. And more hand buff. Ah, uh, Piranha Launcher. Um, it's actually okay, I guess. Uh, it was... The few times I saw it was okay. But it shows the power level. They refined it because the uh, spear now is a 3 mana 1-3. And you get a guy with rush. This didn't do anything. It just gave you a little 1-1 one, one guy. Um, but I remember back then, I remember a few times it ended up being okay. It's not as bad as I thought. Prime Street Smuggler, another little hand buff thing, it wasn't played much at all. And final pack. Oh, we go out with Warden Greaser. Best card of the set. Uh, and an Ars Hog Chopper, 4 mana 4-4. Four, four. If your opponent has hand is empty, you gain charge. Pretty useless. Yeah, so that's it, guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the pack opening, and I will see you next time.